Hey guys, Hawkeye here. You're watching the Hunter with Hawkeye weapon reviews. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the new 22 Grasshopper pistol, which is based on the uh, Browning Buckmark. And I'll put a, a link to that in the description so you'll see what I'm talking about there. So today we're going to take a look at the pistol. Um, we're going to fire it at the range see how it performs there and I've done some extensive hunting with it so um, I'll talk about what I believe are the pros and cons uh, what I believe would make it better and uh, we'll talk about the usefulness of this pistol in game so first let's head over to the range and take a look at it alright so the 22 grasshopper uses a 22 long rifle round it is uh, legal for turkey pheasant mallard canada goose and rabbit the uh, pistol is a semi-automatic uh, holds 10 rounds and is a very fast repeater as we'll see here Okay, so we've seen how it performs at the range. Um, so let's talk about the pros of this pistol. Number one, for me, I love the iron sights. Um, they're nice, bright green, high visibility iron sights. And I really like those on this pistol. Number two, it is a very fast repeater. And number three, it has a uh, large capacity clip holding 10 rounds, uh, which I believe is higher than anything else in the Hunter right now. It also has almost no recoil, um, which is great if, you're, if you want to take follow-up shots. Uh, you don't have to make any adjustment. It also doesn't take up much space. This pistol takes up about 5% uh, of the room in your backpack. It's uh, exactly the same as a 357. It's also cheap um, in the game. It is 400 EMs, um, which I believe works out to about $3.52 uh, if you're buying your EMs in the, in the big package that gets you the best bargain. So what about cons? Uh, what do I not like about this pistol? Well, it has very low killing power um, from medium range. And I'll put up a video of a turkey that I shot here uh, from 60 meters uh, here on White Heart. And it gave one drop of blood and flew away and required a follow up shot. Um, so. It, it just it barely even ruffled its feathers from 60 meters if you're fortunate enough to hit the new vitals uh, you know maybe it would drop but that is a very tough shot from 60 meters on a turkey uh, with this pistol whether you're using iron sights or the scope you're not getting a whole lot of zoom there another con uh, that I don't like about the pistol is 
even though it does have a large capacity clip and holds 10 rounds it's only going to have 10 rounds until you shoot it once and every other weapon in the game uh, you can reload but you'll never reload this pistol uh, the reason for that is the boxes of ammo come in uh, in 10 rounds and the clip holds 10 rounds um, and they, since the ammo doesn't stack once you shoot one time then it, it's it's over you, you can't uh, you, you'll not hold 10 rounds again in the hunt until you put a brand new box in so another thing that I don't like about it is the penetration is very very low and I'll have some uh, videos of some rabbit shots that I had. I, I killed over a hundred rabbits over the weekend with this pistol and what I've found is um, that if you if you catch a leg or catch an ear it won't punch through the leg or the ear to um, to get the body or the, or the vitals behind it. So if you have a rabbit that's um, facing you and it's hunkered down and its ears are covering most of its body if you catch one of those ears it won't punch through it and hit the body um, it'll bleed once the rabbit will run off and, and uh, you start your hunt for that rabbit over again the same is true for, for the legs uh, particularly the four legs I had an issue with uh, if you're shooting at a rabbit from the side that's hunkered down, that leg is covering a good portion of the body. And if they're standing up, uh, those legs, are they act like armor. If you hit one of those legs, you won't punch through it. Uh, so, I don't like that. I don't think that's realistic. I think a, a 22 long rifle, at least in my experience hunting rabbits as, as a child, um, they, they would punch through that and get into uh, the meat of the rabbit. So, another thing that I think needs revisited, and I'll put a comparison up here. Um, we'll just go back and forth on iron sights versus the scope. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, back when the 2x20 scope was released very early in the, in the Hunter, when you aim down iron sights you didn't zoom the, the game didn't zoom in on a target for you that was changed uh, some time ago and uh, in my opinion makes the 2x20 uh, pretty much obsolete uh, as you can see as these images go back and forth you have the same zoom with the iron sights as you do with the scope now, for me, I like the high visibility iron sights and uh, would rather go that route if it's not if the scope's not giving me any other advantage, uh, such as better zoom or a you know maybe a nice high vis reticle or something like that. the last thing that I want to touch on uh, for this pistol is the usefulness in the hunter. As we touched on earlier, it is ethical for turkey, pheasant, mallard, Canada goose, and rabbit. As you know, if you're hunting any kind of competition for the pheasant, mallard, or Canada goose, um, which I personally think it's a little bit light round for Canada goose, but that's another story. Uh, but any of those three species are going to have to be airborne shots. And I'll put up some uh, embarrassing footage of some of my attempts at that. Um, I, for me, it's not very practical for those. Uh, if you want to go out and miss some mallards, take this pistol. If you want to go hit some, take a shotgun. That's the way I look at it. Some people will, will disagree with me there. And, and, uh, will find it fun to, to shoot at mallards, but I think you'll find yourself out of ammo pretty quick too. Uh, for turkey, kind of the same thing, uh, even though it doesn't have to be airborne, if I'm gonna make noise and spook everything in the woods, 
and not use a bow, then I'm either going to pack a shotgun or a muzzle loader uh, or even a 223 if I want to shoot them from range. Where this pistol really shines for me though is rabbit hunting. Uh, rabbit hunting is an absolute blast uh, with this pistol. I probably, before it came out, I would have said uh, I would prefer a a rifle, 22 long rifle, maybe a pump action in the old Winchester model or, or an old Marlin lever action or something like that. Uh, but when I got this pistol, I went and took it rabbit hunting and, and I couldn't stop. It was, uh, it was just really, really fun to get after them with a pistol. So overall, I'm giving this weapon the thumbs up. Um, I wouldn't have done that before I started hunting rabbits with it. Um, I, I just, not that it wasn't a finely modeled weapon or, or didn't perform well, but uh, for me it just wasn't practical in any application in the game um, until I started hunting rabbits. And I think that's where it really shines, and that's where I'll leave you guys today is, uh, is with some rabbit hunting footage and I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope the review helps you make a decision on whether or not to buy the pistol and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.